Hi friends, let's read Flower Girl Katie. So let's start Flower Girl Katie. Chapter 1 Wedding News Katie loved to visit her Aunt Patty. She was glamorous. When they had tea parties, Katie and Jojo wore Aunt Patty's fancy hats. One day, Aunt Patty told Katie, I'm getting married. I want you to be my flower girl. Katie was thrilled. You will be great, said Jojo. At school, Maddie told Katie, I was a flower girl. It can be tricky. How tricky can it be? asked Jojo. I can show you on Saturday, said Maddie. Yoko and Fatima said they wanted to come too. On Saturday, the girls met at Katie's house. Maddie said, the ride wears something old, something new, something barred, and something blue. You should too. It will bring your aunt luck. I have something old, said Fatima. It's a butterfly pin my grandma gave me. Thank you, said Katie. I will try not to lose it. I have something new, said Maddie. My fancy socks with laces and ruffles. Wow, said Katie. My feet and I will be happy. I know I can't lose them. Yuka asked, would you like to borrow my pink headband? It's perfect, said Katie. I'm wearing a pink dress. Terrific, said Jojo. You look great in pink. Chapter 2, Feeling Nervous. Now, Maddie, said Katie. Katie should practice tossing flowers. Let's pretend those dandelions are rose petals. Katie began tossing petals. Be sure to sh- do not drop the basket, said Yoko. I saw a flower girl once do that once. Oh my, said Katie. Katie won't, said Jojo. And don't step on the bride's train, said Fatima. Her dress could fall off. Oh no, crazy girl. There's so much to worry about. Katie told her mom, being a flower girl is tricky. Terrible things can happen. Not worried, Kenner, said her mom. Katie, but Katie worried. That night, she had a flower girl nightmare. Katie dreamed that she tripped and fell in the mud. It was scary. The next day, Katie asked Aunt Patty, Are you sure you want to be a flower girl? I'll have to be perfect. You'll be terrific, said Aunt Patty. Chapter 3. Feeling Terrific Katie practiced walking. She walked very carefully. Oops, she kept tripping. Just walk like you always do, said Katie. She said Jojo. Katie smiled. That's easy. At school, Katie said, I forgot something to borrow something blue. Don't worry, said Jojo. Here's my blue bra- bluebird bracelet. Katie hugged her. Jojo, you always say me. As they left school, Katie thought about Jojo. When I'm with her, she makes me feel terrific. Katie thought about Jojo all the way home. That night, Katie asked Aunt Potty, can, can a wedding have two flower girls? If Jojo's with me, I will feel calm and I won't step on your dress. That's a wonderful idea, said Aunt Potty. I love Jojo. When Katie told Jojo, oh, how they hugged. Katie said, it will be twice as much from marching with you. As they tossed the rose petals, Katie said, I feel like a princess. Me too, said Jojo. Nobody tripped and everybody smiled. At the party, Katie and Jojo danced, did wild dances together. Katie told Jojo, nobody's blue at this wedding, and it was true. The end. I hope you like this story. See you in the next video. Bye.